Positioning is everything in Apex Legends and rotating to that position is even harder. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it in this video. Let's do it. Welcome back warriors to another Apex Legends video. Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys all about rotating and positioning in Apex Legends. Positioning is everything in Apex and it's the difference between winning and losing. And we're gonna go over that in this video. I got a clip for you guys to break down. So we're gonna get right into it. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and join the Warriors so you can guys get all the tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. Now let's get into the clip. All right, guys, I got this clip for you today that we're going to break down and I'm going to teach you all about rotating and positioning in Apex Legends. Now, for the purposes of this video, this is just going to be about rotating in the immediate fight you know, towards end game or towards, you know, if you're actually engaging in a fight, this is not rotations from one location to another throughout the entire map. That's going to be something separate in a different video. So I just want to clarify that. But today I'm going to break down this clip. Rotating and positioning is definitely some of the hardest things to master in Apex Legends. So I have a clip for you guys. I know you guys have really enjoyed the clips that, you know, the clip breakdowns that we do to help you improve your gameplay. And we recently did a poll on Twitter. You guys voted that we wanted more of me in the face cams for the for the YouTube videos. So we're going to try to incorporate that a lot more. But so today I have this clip. Essentially what's going to happen is is that we're going to rotate into this. We're going to show you how to get how to get high ground on all these teams. There's uh, about six teams total left, and uh, we're one of them. And we kind of break down where all the teams are, and then we rotate to the best position on the map to put us in in the best position for victory. So I'm going to play this for just a second, and then we're going to kind of break it down. We know where all the teams are, I think, right? That's one, two, three. Is anybody up top? Yes. Yeah, there was somebody they just shooting portal. Let's rotate, right Let's rotate and take high ground. Let's rotate and take high ground. Let's go right now. They just portaled in. See that? See this? Yeah. Actually, dude, I'm just gonna hey. push over. over oh, there's one there. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, one on top, one on top. Yeah, let's push together. Oh, there's two actually, two up top. Yeah. Yeah, let's go together. This is funny. None of us can climb, <laughs> guys. None of us guys, can climb. On. <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> one at a time, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Times three or this? Right here, I'm in front of me. Knock one. All right, guys, as you can see right now, now we have the high ground. So essentially what happened is if we go back, Right, we know where every team is. I'm gonna pause it right here. We know exactly where every team is. So the first tip when it comes to repositioning and rotating is analyzing the, the situation, like understanding the game sense and understanding what's going on. So there's only a few teams left. We know that one team is up top. There's one team over here on the dome. One team that was down here that we were shooting. <clears throat> those two players that we saw over here that's another team that's over here and i think there's one rat hiding somewhere so we analyze where every single team is now if you look up here at the zone guys you can see that the zone we are outside of it okay we can't rotate in it so this is how it goes to analyzing the situation we got a minute 52 on the zone so we got plenty of time the biggest key here guys is analyzing but being patient okay so tip number one analyze the situation tip number two be very patient in your decision making okay when it comes to rotating it's not something you just you know gung-ho do you don't just just want to make a split decision without thinking about it so if we think about this clip right we have a team up here okay we have a team on top team over here team down here below which i think is playing inside the dome a team over here and then a rat somewhere and then us okay if we look at the mini map, we're outside of it. Okay, now the majority of the zone is on refinery, which means that the high ground is being on top, which where one team is, and we want to take that. Okay, we want to take that position, right? So we don't move. We know where all the teams until are. Until we I see think, right? that's one, two, we three. We know where all the teams are. We Everybody wait until up? that team as yes. soon as the Wraith yeah, leaves. They just we rotate. Rotate. Let's rotate yeah, and take right high ground. There. Let's rotate and <clears> take high ground. So we saw I saw the Wraith portal down here okay she was in the start of her portal so that means that team is so distracted fighting this team we're going to come up and flank left and take this new position up top okay analyzing that situation since we know where every team is this is a safe rotation now if we back up right <clears throat> now if you just look at it at face value when it comes time for the zone 
we only have a few options. We can't go right, we can't go over here, and we can't go on top, and we can't go all the way to the backside. Our only options is to go into refinery and play underneath. Okay, play the low ground, which is an option. You could definitely do that. Or we could go over here and play crane underneath. There's not much cover on top, but there is some decent cover right underneath the crane if you guys didn't know about that. And we still got a minute 52 to decide all this. We got plenty of time. Now, there's one thing that you could do. You could, you know, wait that minute 52, wait for teams to fight, you know, and then rotate to a different position that way. We want the best position in this map, okay? When you're looking at these teams, the first thing you got to do is get the best position and rotate and be patient, all right? So you analyze where everything is, you be patient, and you try to figure out what is the best position based on the zone. Now, in this particular case, we're at end zone, guys, so this is a little bit different, but you want to do the same steps before you're even engaging in a fight. Now, you want to get that high ground, you want to get the best position or set up somewhere, let a team come by, and then shoot them. That way, you have the best position to win that fight. So we have two options to go to on the left. It would take way too long to rotate on the right, guys. We're not going to do that. So we have a few options. But as soon as we saw this Wraith portal over here to fight this team, my instinct is telling me they want to go fight and they're risking giving up high ground to go win this fight. So when they move, we take it. We go up. As you guys saw, we beat the... I beat the Revenant because I was sitting there waiting. Right? And I believe that the Revenant team finished that team off inside the dome right finish this team off in the dome right but then the revenant came back i finished him and i think there's only two left from that team we end up getting the knock on the other one now at this point we could push oh, i messed up <laughs> but as you see guys now we have the best possible position if you look at the zone look at the zone here we have the best best spot best spot the only thing that could be a risk factor is if that, if on the very opposite side of refinery if a team was up top on that side otherwise we have the best possible position now gauging from where all the teams were we knew that one was over here one was on top that moved here a team was on this back side which i'm assuming they're hiding over here and then we had one rat that's underneath us so if you if you analyze all that and use your game sense about how teams are going to work and how teams are going to move we know that we're in the best spot the best spot so let's back up guys when it comes to rotating we took the best possible position okay so again rotating is analyzing the situation being very patient and then figuring out where the best spot is in the zone or in a in a particular fight and then trying to take that position before you engage or if you can do it while you're engaging to get to that spot then most likely you're going to win that fight so the best spot on the map right now is on top of a refinery and we go and take it okay now, now now let's look at position afterwards okay we're going to skip down the clip a little bit okay we're at the back end let me skip up okay now the zone has moved right skip right here so the zone is over here the zone we got a minute four left but now we know we figure out the new zone it is on the other side of refinery on the top now this is where the positioning is is key so on the first end we got the best position on the map we took out another team now we're going to continue to keep the best position on the map okay so all we're doing is scooting over to the other side coming coming all right we know that no team is behind us okay and i know that because i want to show you guys the the back end of this all right so monster had given us a portal right he gave us a portal Before, over grabbed one, grabbed one. Nice. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. right now he's portaling over taking your portal as soon as i heal up here they're rising they're lifeline rising yeah, yeah drop it drop it drop it drop it i said we go back through don't give up high ground so monster doesn't want to give up high ground they're literally right here the thing is you don't ever want to give up high ground if you can help it guys the majority of battles that you will win will be by high ground. We're going to have to do another video on high ground just by itself, but never give up high ground if you can help it. So I finished one off, right? Oh, and we locate two more that are rotating out. Okay, those are the two from the Revenant team. All right, now if you see on the map, look where we are. Look where we are. We're over here, and that team is pushing this way. So when we go back through the portal, right? We know as we I'm run back, back, I'm going back. Yeah, yeah. we're going back yeah, to high ground. Monster is already there securing the location, okay? He secures it. We come back. You see us running on the map here. There's nobody behind us. There could be somebody underneath refinery over here, 
but nobody's on top and nobody's behind us so we're safe we're gonna push up okay so we just scoot over we fight this team we fight this team trying to get on high ground from us now if you guys remember this is the team that was on the far end of the map over here that's this team that team that was right here on this box they wanted to come up and get high ground Oh, but we already had the position so they challenge us for it let the clip play out just a little bit guys they challenge us on high ground it's only a team of two but they still challenge Healing they want that best possible position because the end zone is where exactly where we are knock one lifeline is one shot and there we go. We finished. Finisher, Mirage is right here. All right. So now we're in the best possible position. Okay. There's only two other teams left. Okay. Two. We're, we are up top. We got the best possible position on zone. That team that rotated over here is over here on this dome somewhere. And then the rat is somewhere underneath. Okay. Somewhere. Now this team that rotated over here, I believe ended up coming straight down and, or if they rotated over here, they came down and came inside. But we have the best possible position up top, okay? You we end up fighting up, a team that's camping in here. Right? One, one left, one left. Boom. All dead. See, we're still in the same spot. And if you look at the zone again, guys, it's still exactly where we are. Best possible zone. Best possible position. I think we're getting pushed from above. And there's one left somewhere. That's the rat that I was telling you guys about from the start of the video. Yeah, here it goes. Boom. Get it and we win. So the key here, guys, is is maintaining that position. So let's recap. The tips when it comes to rotating is first analyzing the situation. Patience. Key. Very, very, very. So much patience. Key. Okay. Number three is after figuring out analyzing and being patient figure out collectively where your team wants to go make a team decision about where the best spot is to go based on the legends that you have on your team okay if we scoot back like we have we have caustic wraith and gibby so we can literally play anywhere on this zone okay caustic can set up traps inside and cage us in kind of like watson we have gibby for up top so if we're getting shot from multiple teams we can defend ourselves and we have wraith to portal us literally anywhere so that's tip number three on rotations. Once you have come to a decision on all of that and you've done all three steps, then rotate, okay? Or if an opportunity opens, it presents itself, like when the Wraith rotated from up here for his team to fight this team and we just looped around and took that spot, then do it. You want the best position. Now, once you have position, like you see up here the whole time, okay, we just maintain yeah, high back. ground. I'm, I'm, back. Back. I'm gonna turn back. this yeah, down. Yeah. We just maintained high ground throughout the entire fight, okay? We maintained high ground through the whole thing. We end up fighting another team that wanted to take the best position on the map, and we kept it. So when you once you get the position, the biggest tip is to maintain that position. Keep it. And then if you do have to rotate to the next best position, do the first three steps again. Analyze it. Be patient. Figure out where it is and make a collective decision, and then go together as a team. If you keep practicing these things, rotating, and getting the best, best position shouldn't be too hard unless another team is already there. In which case, just like in the gameplay in the background, guys, you're going to have to challenge and win that fight. All right? All right, guys. I hope you really did enjoy today's video. I hope it gives you some more light and helps you better understand how to rotate and how to get the best position in Apex Legends in a given fight or more towards the end zone, okay? And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a thumbs up, guys. That really does help me out. Let's see if we can get to 25 likes on this video. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warriors, guys. We just hit over 600 subscribers, and we're going for our goal to 1,000, so please help us get it there, okay? And as for me, Warlug, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace.